is college, college how it's structured now, is it worth it? Well, certainly it's worth it. Uh, a, a, you know, what's not worth it is to go to an expensive college and not finish and end up with, with big loans. That's not worth it. And, you know, it's a, not just a financial setback in terms of your confidence. It's, it's an awful thing. If you actually go to a, a good college and get a degree, yes, your payoff uh, in terms of the, not just the economics, but the kind of jobs, the uh, things you get to do is absolutely worth it. But it won't be affordable. That's, that's the problem. We want every kid in America to be able to go to college. And uh, that accessibility is getting worse and worse. In fact, the community colleges that have this uh, broad acceptance model are getting so that the classes are clogged up, they're too large, you can't get into the class you want to because of these state budget issues. So there, you know, there is a dilemma here that the rhetoric is you know, more kids going to college, and yet the, the financial realities are less kids going to college without uh, some breakthrough. So the breakthrough, is it, is it the, it's the Internet, it's digital. So it's well, that's the foundation for it. Uh, but we've had the Internet, you know, right. and we've had digital, and uh, we've had these free online lectures. And so, you know, it, it's always tricky in education. Education is not about the some secrets that aren't available anywhere else. You know, people can just buy textbooks and read them if they're highly motivated. How you create a structure that motivates uh, average students uh, to engage in these things, that's very tricky. And we've used social engagement, where you're there with a lot of kids at the same time. Can we recreate that online when you get confused, you get discouraged? You know, is there a mentor who comes in and helps you out? Uh, you know, potentially by having more information about you and having a pool of people who, who can come in and help, digital could actually be better in many respects than the face-to-face. -face. But we're certainly, you know, not, not there yet. What does the future classroom look like? Is there a physical classroom? Is it, is it partly online? Well, if you, if you think about K through 12, the younger a student is, the more that, you know, being in the classroom, having the blocks to play with, uh, you know, that's, very fundamental. It's only as you get to say, you know, senior year, or you get into college, that then a meaningful part of the time could be done with an online experience. You know, these large lecture classes, uh, the being there physically doesn't really add much value. You know, so I would guess that a decade out, uh, there'd be l very few large lecture classes given, and that certainly the public schools would focus more on how they take uh, not their own lectures, but the very best that are out there and create the labs and study groups around those.